Hey everyone, Stacy Wallace here, and I, as you see, I posted a new Facebook cover today, and it says "Salt and Light." And really, um, this morning, my son completely, like, I don't know, he impacted my life. Every single morning, we get up as a family, we do devotions together, we have a time of leadership development. For those of you who don't know, I homeschool my kids, and so we have this really precious opportunity every day to sit as a family. Uh, we talk about entrepreneurialism, leadership development, marketing, and right now my kids are coming towards the end of the school year and they are actually having to do book reports on all the books that we have read throughout the year. And that's a lot of leadership books because we basically do them every month. Well, he chose to do his book report on The Secret and many of you have seen that book or you've read it. And it's been a while, I think it's been, we read it every year, we watch the TV show or the movie every year, but it's been a while since I've seen it. And, and he impacted me today because I have to admit Admit, there's been some stuff going on that's just been a little negative um, that I've been watching going on on Facebook and and I have been in my personal process of being um, in that salt and light. I want to be the light of the world. I want to be loving. I want to be encouraging. I want to believe the best even when the worst of others is being displayed. And this morning when my son came to the table with his book report, um, I had to just grab it real quick and give you guys a message because I hope that it impacts you as well. Listen to this. I'm going to read you just one of the paragraphs. He says, within the, within the third chapter, they explain that like Aladdin's genie, how the law of attraction grants our every command. The creative process helps you create what you want in three simple steps. Ask, believe, receive. Believing involves acting speaking and thinking as though you have already received that which you are asking for. When you emit the frequency of having received it, the law of attraction moves people, events, and circumstances for you to receive. For example, if you want to lose weight, don't focus on losing weight. Instead, focus on your perfect weight. See yourself in that perfect weight. Feel the feelings of what it feels like to get into that perfect size dress. Feel the feelings of your dreams and ideas and you will bring it upon yourself. Starting with something small like seeing yourself get a good parking spot, that's a great place to start. Powerfully intend to attract something small into your life so you can see the success. It's pretty cool because yesterday I was watching a video where somebody was talking about Kimmy Wicker. She's a world-renowned uh, spear, what do, you, what do they call them? Spear Fisher woman. <laughs> and she, like her domain, her, her measure of rule, where she lives is in the ocean surrounded by sharks. And people were asking, you know, what do you do when you feel like you are being surrounded by sharks or they coming in to attack? And she said it's actually the frequencies that she emits that speaks to the fish. Now, this may sound a little bit like woo-woo, cuckoo stuff, but it's true. You currently, right now where you're sitting, you are emitting frequencies into the atmosphere around you. You know, you've heard me say before, when you walk into a room, does it brighten up? Or does it brighten up when you leave? Have you ever had somebody that walks into a room and it's like this big heavy comes into the room? Well, that's the frequencies that you are emitting into the atmosphere around you. The things you say, the things you think, whether or not you're truly caring and loving, that's a frequency that you emit. Well, obviously, Kimmy has mastered the ability to control her frequencies and spoke about how when under attack, she's able to actually center herself and think about calming that these sharks are my friends. Um, I am not afraid. Instead of tensing up and sending out fear frequencies, she actually sends out frequencies of peace. And that's why she's able to swim with these sharks. Now, you might think that's crazy, but you live with sharks every day. You know, we call it Shark Tank for a reason on a, that, that TV show. Well, think about it right now. You are salt and light. You have the opportunity to be the fragrance or the seasoning to someone else's world. If they're sick and tired, don't resonate with that. Don't speak about that. So, oh, I know, I feel the same way. Instead, be a thermostat. Change the atmosphere and speak into their, their life. Your light. If you're surrounded by darkness at work or maybe in your peers or there's people doing negative stuff around you, don't in don't get yourself involved in the darkness. Instead, be light. 
Choose to show up with frequencies that changes the world around you. I hope this helped you today. Remember, now is the time. This is the place, and you are the one to make life better for many.